Uh, hello brothers and sisters, this is Sister Sarah. I would like to share a word that our Heavenly Father has, has given me today at 3 o'clock in the morning as I couldn't sleep uh, given what is going on around the world and my brain was just too overstimulated so I took some time to read the Bible and pray and then I got this word and it's very important that everyone pays a lot of attention and it's entitled I give a small window for the world to repent before I start the message I would like to pray thank you Heavenly Father for the opportunity of um, receiving a word and warning your people I ask in Jesus name that all of us take heed and listen to your warnings in Jesus name I shall start it goes like that. I would like to ask my children in the preparation of Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, to stay indoors. Do not go out. Make sure you read my word and go, and go about my business these seven days. Once the Passover night starts, I want all my children at high alert all around the world intercede for your family lest the angel of death clings to them they will be wailing this coming months so i'm calling my children to assemble within their dwellings and pour out intercession for family and friends there is no longer any time for games justice for the innocent must be applied murder of many abortion of my children greed violence it must stop the world must repent or i will allow death to continue i have chosen you my elect to be the beacon of light in each family in each suburb straight and even nation as you go through your limited activities claim your suburbs claim your city claim your family i will consider your prayers as fine gold rarer than the gold of of fear i'll listen to you just as i listen to abraham i'll protect those who those you pray for as the angels of death roam the earth to reap satan's harvest i am the giver of life my children but if you choose sin you are choosing death making yourself susceptible to death you are not promised tomorrow don't be foolish have you asked yourself if you are ready to meet me I am a holy God a consuming fire nothing can stand or exist before me without Jesus my righteousness have you spit and mocked such a great gift repent rise and shine my chosen my bride my guests you are about to complete a great transformation they started a long time ago a great exodus from false churches will ensue people leaving buildings and focusing on me the only father and teacher beware of wolves for they will rise up to deceive many who do not know me are you awake church are you seeing the tribulation at your doors are you ready for the refining where is your faith I said to Peter why did you doubt I said to the father of the dead girl fear not only believe you are used to, to comfort church I will take this idol away from you I will expose the false ministers I will give a chance for the deceived to repent 
Do not look back like Lot's wife. Only move forward. Only obey my voice. Satan wants to distance people so the great awakening and transformation are hindered. But I will use this for good. You have to spend time with your family. You have to let go. You have to choose your belief system. I am at the door. But if I shut it, no one can open. You have a small window of opportunity to repent. Use it. If you don't, this plague will cling to your house, will cling to your nation, street, and all that belongs to you. I will command my angels to stand down. If you call upon me, I will send my angels to keep charge over you as promised in my word. Repent on behalf of your nation for abortion, violence, abuse, slander, thefts, lies, and all I bring to your mind. Apply justice and godly love in all you do. I understand many will not listen, will mock, and their destiny will be settled according to the hardness of their hearts. Will you be like Pharaoh and have to see the ten plagues of Egypt? I warn you again, do not believe this false Messiah shortly coming, for he will betray you, and each of his blasphemies against me will have a price. Align yourself with your Creator, or be destroyed with evil. I have waited enough to see justice, because I am long-suffering, and I do not want to send anyone to hell. I take no pleasure in suffering, but sometimes only through pressure and suffering is that my children will return to me. I love you, my children. Yahweh Rafa. This is a very stern word that I received last night. So, um, if you don't know what is the Feast of Unleavened Bread or what it is Passover, please do some research. Read Leviticus 23. Have a check at the calendar, the Jewish calendar, when those dates uh, will happen. And anyway, nearly the entire world is under quarantine in a way and having to stay home. But um, if there are some days that you must stay indoors, are those coming days. I'm not saying there will be the three days of darkness or the rapture will happen. I'm saying that God is giving us this chance to literally focus and meet in the spiritual realm to really protect ourselves, our loved ones. And by doing that, many more will be protected. Um, I'm going to write um, this word in the comment section below. If there's anything you would like to ask me, please do, and I'll try my best to answer as soon as possible. Be blessed in the coming days. Do not fear, because fear causes Satan to cling to people. Panic. The entity panic uh, from my previous video. Have a look at that, if you will. Be blessed in Jesus' name.